Okay, so this is from my book 1111. The name is Liz Worth. Uh, if people want to buy it online, you go to lizworth.com. It's these numbered streets. They're counting down our days. Tenth, ninth, eighth, seventh, all down to the last. It's these numbered streets where we live like there are bombs in the background, don't sleep, only create creases in time to crawl into. It's these numbered streets where our shadows are built of stained pavement as we walk to trade coins for glass bottles. These glow and grow into dragon's tails that spill amber kisses, trailing deep and tickling our bellies. It's these streets where we live like atrocities, learning the cartography of sin. And it's on these streets where Maxine turns to me and says it's only theater. It's only theater. We've been dreaming of a ground that runs like liquid, blurring golden browns in blackness thick as tar, all gravel specks splashes of gray rushing past our eyes and whispering, not here, now here, nowhere. We don't know where we're going or how we'll get there, just as long as it's away, 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 and wherever it is, we'll lean into it. Reality is only numeric codes. Numbers are the architects of our cycles and trigger points, trigger fingers. I can't, esca I can't escape my sonic numbers. 1111 is an old hinge, threatening to come undone altogether. My ascension into this time, twice a day, is an equal descent into dissected frequencies I would rather not have gouging at my brain. My life is becoming a textural oblivion. This is why we have decided to eat uncertainty. No, only today, trip over the edge of reason. It's all surprise, surprise, with messages appearing like signs, bringing urgent warnings of regret. This could be the last hour, so do it now, do it now, do it now. But all I'm really doing is walking through these numbers, adding, subtracting the worlds of minutes, seeking the alchemy of time. And now it's at the corner of 37th Street that I run into Maxine. She's got that expression on her face again and says, I looked someone in the eyes today and I had the distinct feeling that I was lying. She resorts to mumbling, tiny roars that become a holy thing with me, a violation, a thousand traps, a dry heave attack. This is all turning into my end. I am dissolving against the molars of my window's landscape. These panes frame lumbering buildings. Their figures hunch and moan, expel soot like the shed of skin. We have a shoreline here, but no beaches to grow blonde and barefoot. The factories have filled them with destroyed joints, shattered houses, rusting robotic fingers that snag at hams and shoelaces. They're all rocks in the marrow of industry, these shorelines that chisel our faces, arch our backs, never let us be comfortable. This is where we have our parties. There's one happening tonight, Maxine tells me, leaning across my mattress. It's the same mattress I vomited and pissed on as a kid, the only bed I've ever slept in. Maxine talks of Berlin and London and San Francisco, but she does it all in a way that's full of shade and lies, and I know she's been sleeping in her own stains all this time, too. But there's a party tonight, and I can forget about all that. <coughs> forget that we're going nowhere and that we're nobody. Forget that we'll never get out of this neighborhood alive, or so it seems every day, when we wake up to more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. My fingers flex for smoke and glass, telling us it's time to go. Our cigarettes swing like danger lights in the dark, fireflies throbbing in time to the long, lean stomp of our legs. Limbs skitter like horses, clamping cold into the cement. We can smell the grease in the hair of the boys who are building a fire. There's a spark, a tiny light growing into a lion. The light catches the age that's building up beneath our faces. The boys have the facades of tired men taking on the folds of their lips the curvature of their cheekbones. The girls have deep half moons under their eyes. They tug at their hair to hide it all. Youth here is fleeting. It's destroyed by cigarettes and whiskey. We buy our booze at the bootlegger who runs his back door business out of a house on the corner. It's cheap and easy and every time we go we feel further away from the beings we were trying to grow into. One day, this life will diminish us to static. Thank you. Wow. Whoa.